Hello YouTube, it's Kate once again, it is Wednesday and I am recording my new video. Um, this week we are talking about guilty pleasures, or I guess I'm talking about guilty pleasures, but feel free to leave comments about guilty pleasures if you'd like. Um, so what I kind of want to talk about is shame and acceptance because guilty pleasures are really only guilty pleasures because we feel bad or weird about enjoying something. I know for a lot of people it's reality television, that they just really love reality television, but for a lot of people they feel like they're highbrow enough or too highbrow to be watching such shitty programming. Um, but don't be. I mean, it took me a while myself to accept my guilty pleasure and now it's not really a guilty pleasure anymore because I just own it and I own the fact that I enjoy this. Um, so what my guilty pleasure used to be is young adult fiction. I love young adult fiction. I absolutely adore it. Especially dystopian novels. I gobble them up like crazy. Um, I mean like The Hunger Games. I mean that's the that's the one that pretty much everyone has read. The Hunger Games. I read all three books in, I think, about 50 hours. Uh, the first book I started reading at like 11.30 at night on Christmas Eve a couple years ago, and I finished it by 6 a.m. the next morning. I stayed up all night reading because I just couldn't get enough of it. And, you know, a lot of people, they kind of come off as judgmental when I talk about things that I'm reading or books that I really enjoyed. Because a lot of what I do read is young adult fiction, um, and it's not just dystopian novels. Like, I know I just I just finished Delirium by Lauren Oliver, and I just started Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. And well, I'm only like eight pages into Uglies, so <laughs> don't spoil anything for me. And I've only read Delirium, so please don't spoil any of the other books. But you know, I read a lot of David Levithan and John Green, and even. Um, Megan, uh, Megan McCafferty with the Jessica Darling series, which I absolutely love and very much connect with. Um, so really just kind of take a look at the things that you like that maybe you're afraid to tell people that you enjoy or you just don't tell people that you enjoy because you feel like you shouldn't and try to figure out why that is. Because um, I know that sometimes it can be hard to talk to people about something that you enjoy if they really don't like it. Um, I'm talking to you, fans of Twilight, like legitimate fans of Twilight. I know you guys get a lot of crap from other people. But if you really like it, then own it. Just own it. Um, I mean, I love my, I love my YA. Some people love their reality television, other people love, you know, romance novels, or, I don't know, I don't know. It just kind of depends on what you like, but just own up to it. And, you know, the only person whose opinion that really matters is your own. And you can let people make you feel bad about the things that you like, but you don't have to. So just enjoy what you like, and fuck the haters. So, I hope you guys have a good week, and enjoy your not-so-guilty pleasures, because they're not going to be guilty anymore. There's just going to be things that you like, okay? Just things that you like. And I will see you next Wednesday.